Hey there, Eric here from Ticket Spice, and in this demo, I'm gonna show you how to use our image gallery field. And so I'm gonna go here to my ticketing page. If you've not seen our video demo on those cool video backgrounds, be sure to check that out for the banner field. All right, so let's say I want to add images to my ticketing page to showcase maybe attractions, amenities, just experiences. Uh, typically, you might need to bring them all into a single image or a collage, use Canva or Photoshop or Big Your Designer. In this feature for us, you now can add image galleries yourself and we give you all these cool tools. So I'm gonna go under here, I'm gonna add the image gallery above the ticket block and I'm going to go right over here to the image gallery field. And this is going to open up some options here. And before I interact with all of them, let me just describe them real quick. The first is gonna be, how do you want the images laid out? Do you want rows or columns? And you can choose a number of columns there. Uh, do you want the shape of a crop for the images to be landscape, portrait, rectangle, square, circle, rounded corners? You also can make the gallery full width, which means that the images will go side to side here in the page. You also have specific mobile settings. So if you want to change how the image gallery looks on a mobile phone, you can change the orientation between rows and columns there. And then we also have the images here where you can choose to include text. So let me go through here real quick and I'm going to just grab a few sample images. And these are just ones in our little library here. I have no idea really much about them, but I'm just gonna add them here quickly. Let's grab that one, why not? And we'll add four of them real quick. Let's grab that one and a fourth. Let's grab another one. And so in your example, you might want to upload your own images there, of course, but uh, you can reuse existing ones. So straight away right here, we've got four images. And if I just hit done, you can see that these four images stack on top of each other. That might be a great way to showcase the attractions and that's what you want. Uh, another way you can arrange this by just hitting the edit pencil icon here is let's go to columns and let's go to four columns. And what that is going to do, if I go down here and hit done, it is now going to show me my images across like that, which is super cool. Uh, you can also go to two columns, for example. And what that will look like is put them in that two by two kind of grid. So some really cool things there. Now let's go here and play with some of the crop options here. Let's go with a circle crop. And when we look at that, that gives us the ability to have kind of a cool little uh, circle design here. But maybe let's say we don't like how that crop is on that photo. Maybe we wanna like try to get more towards the front of the, the bus. There's some tools in here to help you adjust where it crops. And so with each image here, it says image position. And what that is going to do is it's going to determine from at what point will the crop begin from. So center center means it's going to start from the center vertically and horizontally and crop out. So let's go to our school bus here. And again, this is a hard image, right? And that's really, really wide. And so let's say we wanna crop it over here. We would choose a right center, meaning it's gonna to go to the right and be in the center. So when we hit done on there, there we see that the bus is cropped where we want it. So again, these are really powerful controls. You just play with it, you find what looks good. And you can do squares, you can do rounded corners. Uh, you can make the galley full width. You've got so many really cool settings here. Let me talk to you a little bit about the text with the images now. So I'm gonna copy a little block of text and I'm going to enable the text here and I'm going to paste some text there. I'm gonna go over here, add some there. It's all the same text. Let's add one to the third one, paste that one there. And the editor is making it jump back to the top after I paste, but that's okay. And so now I've got text on all four of those. If I hit done, we see I've got like nice little captions there. That's great. So uh, that's a great layout. You also, again, can play with this. You can put this into rows and maybe I wanna have small images. So rows, small images, and then we have the option for the text. And in here, we now get options for where the text should go, whether it's on the right or the left on each of these images. So you have all of that granular control on all of them. So if you want something like this, that just itemizes the experiences, really easy to do. And again, if you want to change that crop shape, again, maybe in that view, you want it to be circles. So you can add that there. So 
Uh, there's so many controls here, but you get the idea. But this allows you to quickly add these images to your page without having to manage other design tools and to uh, you know, shoehorn it into your page. So these are great. They're there for you to use. And all the text and formatting options that you could dream of are all inside each of these settings. So that's a brief tour of how all of that works. Hopefully you enjoy that. It gives you the power to promote and to uh, display all the really cool things about your event in a nice, easy way without any technical knowledge. So enjoy it. Let us know if you have any questions and we'll catch you on the next tutorial.